That goes like that. Hi guys, uh, Kelly and Matt from All Media. We're doing a, a duet here today. So uh, a lot of people have wondered about the radius of the dish and we've put it to the test a few times and haven't had much luck, but there's been a lot of updates in the Starlink network mm -hmm. as of late, right Matt? Mm -hmm. So we're going to actually take this dish. We're gonna take Colt's vehicle because he's also with us today. He's the guy filming there. And uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna do some testing and see how far we can get the radius around this dish. So we're gonna travel kind of all around town here today and uh, have some fun setting this up. Off to Heritage, our first stop. We're gonna say, what's this? That's, uh, that's gotta be at least a mile away anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. So we're one kilometer away now. We're at Heritage Ranch. It's a, a beautiful little restaurant slash ranch with horse riding and stuff. Not too far away from my home. One kilometer, the dish, we've plugged it in. We have a power outlet out there. Um, so it's got the power. We're waiting to see if it comes online. Now, one thing about this place and what makes it so beautiful <laughs> is those big trees. Love those trees. Um, but those are a nemesis of satellite internet signals because they will cut off but I don't think that's going to be our worry here because we've mostly been facing to the north throughout most of this so we're going to see one kilometer away let's see if we get online all right we are one kilometer away now as the crow flies uh, and we have got internet signal this didn't even take I think five minutes for us to cl clop it down here on this deck. Uh, even with the tree, we've measured speeds of Matt. Would you say you got there? 90? About 90, 93. We're getting about 90, 93, which is pretty consistent with our Starlink. I mean, we do see speeds of 200, 220, even 300, but those are all glimpses. Uh, for the most part, 90 is, the, is a really good stable number that it does tend to sit at the most. But I'm gonna get you to come in here because this is a little bit of a worry of mine. Oh, we actually got it aligning right now, so that's gonna work out fine. Is It went flat. Um, now it's pointing, so maybe our speeds will come up now a bit. We'll run another test. But the other thing I wanted to show you is when we first got this dish, you could see that we've taken this on a lot of road trips, done a lot of different things with it, but it's starting to show um, the little, uh, I believe those are the little sensors in there, um, are starting to come through. So this used to be a solid white. And with the new dish, I think it's it's more of a, what would you say, Matt? Would you say it's more of a matte finish? It's more of a matte finish. And this had a real, like, kind of more of a sheen to it last time. But you can see it's wore out. But this dish is also over one year old that we've been using it now uh, consistently without any problems. Lots of usage. So we'll do another test here and uh, we'll let you know what we got here. One kilometer away from our uh, registered address. So we have jumped now um, heading east from our um, service address. We are two kilometers now. So we put an extra kilometer in between us and we cannot get it to come online. So this is what happened to us uh, very early on when we were doing some testing is we had a very hard time coming online, but we, we seem to have hammered that part down now. And we've been trying for a little bit here, two kilometers, this seems like a bust. So we're gonna go to the 1.5 kilometer or just get right kind of in between there. Yeah, I got answered. I think this is Jenny. We got power. Yeah. <laughs> One and a half kilometers away. 
Oh, it's actually tilting and moving even while we're speaking. So once again, same as when it did come online at the Heritage Park, it went flat for a bit, it caught the signal, and now it's aligning itself up. But we're running speeds at one and a half kilometers away. We're getting about eight. We're getting about an eight. And I pulled in 100 and 116 on my first one. So we'll run another test while I'm talking here though, but now that it's lined, we'll see what it gets. But this is one and a half kilometers away from the actual service address. So that's that's a pretty significant jump. You seen at the two kilometer mark, we just weren't able to get anything. It wouldn't come online. But here it was within about five minutes once again that it found it. it took a while for us to be able to run a speed test, but we're good. One and a half K. It has been a beautiful day, hey Matt? We've yeah, had that's... some fun running some tests today. We've got quite a distance, as you've seen, and uh, pretty successful. More successful than we had our, our other time out mm -hmm. where we did these tests in some of the same areas and we got zero signal. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you guys, we hope you're enjoying these videos, right? We uh, work hard to try to get you the information out there. So if you are enjoying, please make sure to subscribe and uh, tell them about our website, Matt, that we've been working on. So we've got a website, it's called Starlink Community Forums, uh, and basically it's an informational site. So we've got a lot of our YouTube videos, we've got blogs, we've got forums, uh, anything you could imagine or anything we could think of to mm -hmm. put on there. Uh, we're adding more content regularly, so uh, feel free to jump on to www.starlinkcommunityforums.com and you can find a lot of that information and we're hoping to just grow that community and, and help out anybody who's got one of these dishes. Yeah, there's lots of questions out there on the Starlink. We're, we're hearing them all the time and we would love to answer them. So even if you have a question, jump on there and uh, shoot us a question and we'll do our best to get you the answers that, that we know how to get. Mm -hmm. All right guys, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.